Fabian Chassau puts his foot on the brake and presses a button on the dash. He keeps the steering wheel in the straight ahead position and holds down the right hand shift paddle. He lifts his foot off the brake, punches the gas, and the world goes crazy. Suddenly, the almost 6,000 pound Mercedes Benz G Class is spinning in one spot as if a giant had skewered it to the ground and casually flipped its left front corner with a finger. The horizon is a kaleidoscopic blur of color and dust, accompanied by the scrabble of rubber on rock and dirt. Round and round and round and round we spin. I'm getting dizzy. Meet the electric powered, 4 motor 2025 Mercedes Benz EQG. Chassau lifts off the accelerator and the 2025 Mercedes EQG stops suddenly, rocking gently on its springs, having traveled no farther forward or backward from its starting position. The G-Class chief engineer looks across and smiles. Want to go in the other direction? He asks, reaching for the left-hand paddle. Chassau admits he's not entirely sure whether the G-Turn, as G-Class engineers have dubbed it, has a practical application. But it has no equal as a party trick and encapsulates why the quad motor 2025 Mercedes-Benz EQG will be the most astonishing G-Class ever built, more astonishing, even, than the towering, bonkers G63 4x4. Hurry up and wait. The all-electric EQG is still two years away from production, but after spending a day riding in a pair of prototypes on brutal, rocky trails near Perpignan in the south of France, it's easy to see the EQG is a game-changer in terms of its off-road capability and performance. It's stunningly impressive in the rough stuff. There's still a lot of work to do, however, insists Mercedes-Benz G-Boss Emmerich Schiller. It is the most complex EV in the world in terms of the code controlling the drivetrain, he says. Indeed, a technician rode in the back seat of our prototypes with a laptop plugged into the EQG's neural network, monitoring its performance and looking for gargoyles in the data streams. Unlike the EQS and EK SUVs, the EQG is not built on a version of Mercedes-Benz's EVA 2 electric vehicle architecture. Instead, the EQG is a bit like those battery-powered reworks of classic Land Rovers, Mustangs and Porsches, with all the EV hardware packaged under instantly recognizable sheet metal. Underlying Tech The 2025 Mercedes EQG looks just like a regular W463 Series G-Class, inside and out. Its electric vehicle wizardry is tucked out of sight. Achieving this, while also ensuring the EQG matches or betters the impressive off-road capability of the regular G-Class, has required some clever engineering. Ironically, the G-Class's old-school ladder frame played a fundamental part in solving the packaging puzzle. With the internal combustion engine hardware removed, the area between the axles and inside the frame rails provided a natural location in which to package and protect a large battery. And there's room at either end for e-motors. The frame is strengthened to reduce flex, and the battery, waterproof to ensure the EQG has the same weighting capability as the regular G-Class, is protected by a high-tech composite panel that stretches between the axles. Like the regular G-Class, the 2025 Mercedes-Benz EQG has a multi-link independent front axle and a non-independent rear axle. Having an e-motor power each wheel is straightforward with an all-independent suspension setup such as that used by the four motor Rivians, but combining a pair of e-motors with a non-independent rear axle required some lateral thinking. Motor Skills The electric motors could not be part of a solid axle because, among other things, they would add a lot of unsprung weight. The solution was an engineering concept almost as old as the automobile, the De Dion axle, which dates to about 1894. The De Dion design features a rigid tube connecting the wheel hubs on either side of the car, so it behaves like a solid axle. Drive to each wheel comes via separate half shafts with universal joints on either end that allow the EQG's rear e-motors to bolt securely to the chassis. They still drive the wheels while the axle delivers the articulation needed for ultimate off-road performance. The EQG has the same three off-road drive modes as the regular G-Class, trail, rock, and sand, and rolls on steel springs with adaptive shocks. Our two prototypes wore the Falcon Wild Peak AT26560 tires on 18-inch wheels, a setup that will be the production specification. Mercedes envisioned the EQG as a four-motor F from the outset, and not just so it could spin like a top for clickbait videos. As every serious off-roader knows, the trick to negotiating extreme terrain is maintaining traction, and that means controlling the torque at the wheels. 
A four-motor F drivetrain allows the torque going to each wheel to be controlled independently under all conditions. And to make that control even more precise in extreme terrain, the EQG has a proper low range, courtesy of a reduction gear system on the output shaft of each E-motor. The roughly 2 to 1 reduction gearing is selected with the push of a button while the car is stationary and the drive selector is in neutral, creeping along. Low range allows you to select creeper mode, a sort of low speed cruise control. There are three settings, D, which restricts speed to about 2 miles per hour, D, which ups it to between 3 and 4 miles per hour, and D+, which gives a maximum of 5 miles per hour. You switch between settings by clicking the steering wheel paddles that in the gasoline-powered G-Class are used for manually shifting the 9-speed automatic. In low, you can feel the precision in the drivetrain, the control at each wheel, even from the passenger seat. At times, as Shasau picked a path up steep ascents with high articulation events, the EQG came almost to a halt, like a solo free climber pondering their next move. And in a sense, that's exactly what was happening, the motor at each wheel was gently ramping up its torque output, right to the limit of adhesion. But, of course, while each of the motors works independently, they also work in unison to keep the EQG moving. As a result, the 2025 Mercedes EQG has better traction on rough terrain than any internal combustion engine off-roader, even ones like the G-Class with three lockable diffs. What's more, the software means the four-motor setup delivers all the advantages of lockable diffs, without the disadvantages. In other words, you get maximum traction and are still able to steer around corners. Creeper mode feels smoother and more progressive on downhill sections than with any hill descent control system found in an internal combustion engine off-roader. That's because the speed is tempered by controlling the torque at each wheel via each E-motor, and not by applying the brakes. E-motors are so much quicker to react than brakes when coordinating themselves, Sha Sao says. It's the same when you use the brake pedal yourself on a downhill section. Like most EVs, braking events up to 0.3 grams in the EQG are done entirely via Regan. On a downhill off-road section, all braking is therefore done through the E-motors as they all work together to make sure traction is always maintained. More to it. At speed, though, while driving in high range on a mock rally stage, the EQG felt surprisingly agile, rotating nicely into corners and oversteering mildly when Sha Sao went to power, the computers monitoring the yaw rate the steering angle, and the accelerator position to figure out how far to let things go. Acceleration on straights pushed us back into the seats in typical big horsepower F fashion. Our goal was to make it easy to have fun in the car, Shasau says. Mercedes has not revealed any power or torque outputs, nor would Shasau say how big the battery is or how far the EQG will travel between charges. However, he does say the EQG's on-road performance will be incredible, a hint it will outperform the 577 horsepower, 627 pound-to-foot G63, which thunders from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.9 seconds and nails the quarter mile in 12.9 seconds at 109.9 miles per hour. It's fair to suggest, however, the brick-shaped 2025 Mercedes EQG will not be an F-hypermiler. Capability is more important than range, Sha Sao says. For the record, we began our three-hour off-road session with a battery state of charge at 73% and a predicted 134 miles of range. We finished with a battery at 61% and 100 miles of range. Yes, the 2025 Mercedes EQG is still two years away from completion, with lots more software and hardware to tune, but even in its present stage of development, none of today's internal combustion engine hardcore off-roaders, Jeep Wrangler, Land Rover Defender, Toyota Land Cruiser, and even the non-AMG versions of the G-Class available in Europe, can match its effortless precision and controllability in extreme terrain. That's why Mercedes-Benz G boss Schiller says the EQG will set a new benchmark for off-road performance. Based on what we just experienced, it's difficult to disagree.